I'm Francis Chen. I'm coming from Hong Kong, and now I'm 60 years old. My name is Marcia Medford. I come from the United States. I just turned 72 years old on my first day of the Camino. Yo me llamo Machun. Vivo en el País Vasco, en España. He hecho ya pues 16 caminos. Tengo 76 años. 500 miles are not a joke, whether you are 65 or 26, and that's what it takes to walk the whole Camino de Santiago. You might be feeling too old to walk the Camino, or you might be feeling afraid that it's too hard for you. Today, we are going to share with you exceptional stories of older hikers who are fulfilling their dreams of walking the Camino de Santiago. But don't get us wrong, this video is not only for older hikers, it's also for younger pilgrims who want to get inspired, as these testimonials are packed with wisdom. I started in uh, St. Jean Pied de Port. Okay. And planning on going to Santiago. And if I have enough time, I want to go all the way to Finisterre and Muxia. Saint Jean? De Saint Jean or Roncesvalles a Santiago. Vale. To walk for the 800 kilometers. I think I can do it within 40 days. Soy muy aficionada a la montaña. Soy muy aficionada a caminar y me gusta mucho la naturaleza y disfruto mucho. Entonces, al verme jubilada, dije, puedo dedicar un mes entero a caminar sin ningún otro problema ni otra preocupación. A lot of hiking back home and I have done three long distance hikes, not this long, but went to one in England, did the Cotswold track and in Ireland did the Dingle Way and in Scotland I did the West Highland Way and the uh, Great Glen Way. And each one of those was maybe 100 miles, um, but we had support, our bags were carried, okay. and we had nice places to stay every night. But that's how I got started and okay. decided I needed to do the Camino. Los kilómetros no hay ningún problema porque se pueden hacer los kilómetros que quiere cada uno, porque cada 8 o 10 kilómetros uno puede parar. Y si la gente reflexiona en su ciudad o en su pueblo, todos los días anda la gente 8, 10 y 15 kilómetros. Luego hacer 20 o 25 no es nada especial. Um, I've been walking some days only 7 or 8 miles, some days 10 or 12 miles. You just have to pay attention to your body, how tired you're getting. Uh, for the uphill parts, I find I just really slow down. I might be wanting to go fast, but I say, no, slow down. Mochila? Nunca llevo la mochila, nunca, porque observo que las rodillas y las lumbares se destrozan. Entonces me lleva un transporte la mochila vale. todos los días. Vale. No, I'm carrying everything. How, how heavy it, is it? It's about seven or eight kilos. Okay. So it's not bad. You manage it well. Yeah, you know? as long as it's, as long as you have it fitted properly, you don't really notice it so much. What brand is it, this one? It's a uh, Gregory. Okay. okay. How heavy is your bag? My heavy, uh, my, my baggage uh, is uh, just only 6.5 uh, kg. And remember, you can have your pack transported for you. You don't have to carry a heavy weight. You can just carry your, your, your rainwear and water and a snack if you want to. Check down below in the comments some more tips from experienced hikers. And if you're one of them, just be generous and write your tips below. By the way, in 82 days, we are gonna go to Japan for two big pilgrimages. Are you curious about it? Let us know. 81, he walked 78 kilometers in one day. <gasps> no. What? 78 kilometers from Roncesvalles to Lorca. And then he collapsed and was taken to the hospital. Uh, that's I, don't a bit know, of, I don't know since then. It's a bit happened. of extreme, no? Yeah, 70, yeah, 60, I mean. Even for a young person, that's, that's too very much. Very difficult, yeah. It'd be good if you could find him. 
porque siempre voy eh, a un sitio fijo. Ya sé cuánto voy a caminar cada vez, cada día. ¿Reservas con antelación? Sí, sí, con lo menos seis meses de antelación. Vale. Are you using sticks? Yes, definitely use sticks. They, they give you a lot more power, makes it easier on your legs. Plus, on the downhill, keeps you from falling on your face. Yeah. <laughs> poles, trekking poles? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, yes. Does it help? Yes, it's, it's very useful for you, especially when you go up to the mountain or something like that. I'm very used to walking with subidas and bajadas y no me, al principio no me costaba, ahora me cuesta más. Subo en zigzag, subo despacio, sin mirar al reloj y lo disfruto igual que si fueran llanos, pero muy despacito. Vale, muy despacito. Some days my knee bothers me a lot, um, and then I just have to make it a shorter day. And yet another day on Camino, another reflections, another beautiful long, long, long walk, and another beautiful memory to put in this special journey. This is the journey within a uh, journal for transformation for Camino de Santiago, which we're launching, which we're launching, and this is uh, packed with wisdom. This is not to show you where to go, but this is to give you the direction how to get inside, because this is all about transformation. That has a really good size, and it can serve you to get a bit of more insightful on this beautiful and so meaningful journey on Camino de Santiago. Go down to the description, we have it there, be notified by it. Go to descriptions and get more details about this little thing that can enhance your journey of Camino de Santiago. Anyway, I have to go, there's still lots of kilometers to go. Well, for any of the older people who think they can't walk the Camino, if you can walk around your neighborhood, you can prepare and you can walk the Camino. You don't have to do long distances. If you only want to walk maybe five miles a day, you can do that. You can do it very easily. Um, the main things are to prepare your feet, to have the proper shoes and proper socks, <coughs> and practice with those shoes and socks and with your pack on. <coughs> And remember, you can have your pack transported for you. So you don't have to carry a heavy weight. You can just carry your, your, your rainwear and water and a snack if you want to. What is it for you? For me, it's a little bit personal challenge and it's just sort of a questioning of what's next in my life, what's the next chapter. As, uh, as you get shorter in years, you have to prioritize what you want to do. You do what you can while you can. And for me, at 72, I'm not sure how many more years I can do long walks. So, need to do it now. And I would encourage other people, if you can still get up and walk, walk. That's what people are meant to do. Forget about your television. Just get out and walk. You put your left arm in, you put your left arm out, you put your left arm in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> hey. I love it. <laughs>